Well, the place is still standing. What'd you do, dump the alien? <laughs> no, he's still with us. As a matter of fact, we're throwing him a party in his honor. Open or close casket. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I'm just upset. It's not every day you lose your luggage. Mom, you'll spend the night with us, and in the morning you'll get in touch with Whizzer and discuss your differences like mature, rational adults. Come on, come on. Give me my cards. Give me my cards back. No, you yes. make me. Step outside, you little... Whizzer! Dorothy. What are you doing here? I came looking for you. So, you met Cousin It. Met him? He's cheated me at cards. Sore loser. Can't prove it. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, good to see you again. Yes, Willie. Hi, Grandma. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> Hi, Dorothy. Hello, Neil. Oh, I'm sorry about you and Margaret. Oh, thanks, Dorothy. It was a tough adjustment. I mean, after all, when you spend as much time with one person... Can it, Neil? She's not interested. So, Dorothy, can I get you something? A cab? A rickshaw? A broom? No, maybe just a baseball bat and a small body bag. I, I think maybe we should give Dorothy and Alf a little privacy. Don't you mean wizard? What'd I say? You said Alf. Oh, what could I have been thinking? Mom, talk to wizard. Not in front of the orange hairball. At least mine's natural. <laughs> Come on, Wizard. We have got to talk. She's just cranky because Toto escaped from her little basket. <laughs> Look, Wizard. We're obviously two very different people with two completely different approaches to life who happen to be attracted to each other. The only solution that I can see is you have to change. Look, there's one thing you have to understand. You're not more important in this relationship than I am. I don't think that. Yes, you do. So what if I do? Well, I think if we have a prayer of making this marriage work, we're going to have to ask ourselves one very important question. And be honest. Do you love me, or am I just convenient? You're convenient. And so are you. And I love you. And I love you. You know, you'd think after three marriages between us, we'd, we'd be better at this? So what are we going to do? Well, each of us is going to have to give up something. You first. Well, I can't give up music, but I will agree to look for a permanent gig, and wherever that turns out to be, we can live there. How's that? That is so giving and thoughtful of you. Can we live here? No. Now, this is the part where you have to give up something. But I like being here. I like being close to Kate and the kids. How can you ask me to give that up? Well, I was hoping you'd like to be near me. Do you say that to every cheap floozy you pick up in a bar? Only the ones I marry. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> now I won't be able to eat for a week. <laughs> Kate, get in the kitchen and hose down your mother. <laughs> You know, I miss being nice like this. I know. I hate it when we fight. Of course, making up has its advantages. <laughs> Are you sure you two wouldn't be more comfortable at the Y? <laughs> shouldn't you be digging yourself a hole for the night? You know, Dorothy, they should make a movie of your life story. They could call it Lady brings the blues. <laughs> Alf, can we be alone? Well, I appreciate the offer, but I'd rather swallow a hammer. <laughs> Can't the two of you get along for even five minutes? Hey, this is as good as it gets. 
Well, then, are you planning to stand there the whole night? Of course not. Just till Letterman is over. <laughs> Maybe they have the dancing poodles tonight. 